Good day everybody, it's Christy from OK Keto. So today we're gonna to do a lemon poppy seed waffle. And this is how we're gonna do it. I have a half an ounce of cream cheese. I usually melt mine in this little metal bowl. I stick it on top of my little dash waffle maker when I go ahead and preheat it. I stick it on there and just let it melt it for me so I can smooth it around pretty easily. We're gonna have one large brown egg. I brought up to room temperature that I went ahead and whisked in this ramekin. We're gonna do one tablespoon of Swerve Confectioner, one and a half tablespoon of coconut flour, a half a teaspoon of lemon extract, one fourth teaspoon of poppy seed, and one eighth teaspoon of lemon zest. So what I do is I take my lemon extract, my half a teaspoon, five minutes before I start, and I drizzle it over top of my coconut flour. I let it absorb in there pretty good and dry up a little bit, and I just swirl it around so it really gets incorporated in there before I start. I use the flour or um, a powder, like a cocoa powder or even coconut, as a carrier for my extracts. It just works a lot better for me. If I put it directly into my egg mixture, it changes everything for me and I do not like it. So that's why I always try to use a carrier for my extracts. So let's get started. Again, my cream cheese that is melted and I'm gonna go ahead and put all my dry ingredients into my cream cheese. And then I'm gonna Give this a good stir before I add my egg. Just to incorporate it pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my whisked egg to my bowl. And give this a good stir. Really want to make sure everything gets incorporated in there pretty good. And when I stir it, I press down on it as well to try to get all the lumps out that I possibly can. Okay, and this is what it looks like, like a muffin batter. Now I'm gonna pour half of my mixture into my waffle maker that has been preheating. And I'm gonna use my little spatula to uh, spread it around pretty good. Cover all my little grates. Now I'm gonna close this. My mixture will make two. When this comes out and it's to the consistency I like, I take it out of there and I put mine on a cooling rack. If I put it directly on a plate, the condensation coming off of it will cause it to get soggy. So I always place mine on a cooling rack when they come out. I think I'm gonna dust this with a little bit of the Swerve Confectioner when it comes out. Uh, you can do whatever you would like with it. Even add some of the Bake Believe white chips on top, drizzled on top would be great. Some heavy whipping cream. I mean, sh fresh strawberries cut up or blueberries cut up on top. I mean, use your imagination. The sky's the limit. Do it to your taste. So when I have two of these made and plated up, I will come back and show you what they look like. And here it is, plated up. 
I did go ahead and cut up two large strawberries and put on the plate. I dusted it with a little bit of the Swerve Confectioner and put a little tiny bit of lemon zest on top as well. I will add heavy whipping cream to the top of this, but I wanted you to see what it looked like without the heavy whipping cream. It tastes just like a blueberry poppy seed muffin to me. And we are going to enjoy this. This would be good with blueberries or, I mean, make it your own. I, I'm really thinking blueberries would be great with this, but I don't have any on hand, but I do have some strawberries. That's why I paired it with that. And like I said, I'm going to put some heavy whipping cream on top. Make it your own. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Again, guys, afterthought, but here's the inside. So many people like to see. I'm trying to get it to focus. Okay. Well, again, have a great day.